Hello, I'm Roger Sutton, I'm the Chief Executive at CERA. And I've got another monthly update telling you what's going on in the recovery around Greater Christchurch. So construction volumes around the city are now running at roughly three times what they were prior to the quake. And that's right across the board, whether it's residential construction, um, the fixing on the infrastructure, but also in that commercial area as well, are building new commercial buildings. One of the things people spoke to me about you know, when I got this, this job was how much of the new build, how much of those buildings were replacing the stuff that fell down, how much of that was going to be horrible tilt slab stuff that was going to be pretty awful to look at. And the good news is as we drive around the city at the moment, we're seeing a lot of really, really great architecture. We're seeing buildings that I think in 5, 10, 20 years time we're going to go, gee, I really like the look of that, and that's fantastic. But also in terms of the new builds, one of the themes that came out in the Share an Idea, a program the City Council ran, was we want buildings to be more sustainable. We want a greener city. So what's actually happening with the new builds that are coming along? And the good news is things look like they are on track to have a much greener, more sustainable building than we had before. Fort Health have built a new um, health facility on Kilmore Street. That's the first health facility in the country to get a four-star green building rating. They've done a whole lot of things there using um, low energy lighting, smarter heating systems, um, um, water systems that use less energy, a whole range of things and that's great. But also some of the other key buildings you'll see is, that are going up around Cambridge Terrace at the moment, they're aiming for five star um, green building ratings with those sort of things about low energy, less use of um, water and all those other good technologies. The same goes for Vodafone. Many of those new developments, if not most of them, look like they're being built to a much, much higher um, energy capability, sort of greenness than we had before and that's fantastic. We're here on the site of where the earthquake memorial is going to go. It's a lovely site, lovely established trees, the river runs through here. Oxford Terrace is just over here, but Oxford Terrace actually gets closed off as part of the changes we're making to the streets with the new central city plan. It's a neutral site. It's not a site where anybody lost their lives, but it's an area which is close to the CBD where I think everybody can come and reflect on you know, the terrible things that have happened to our city over these last few years, but in particular on February the 22nd. We've got a competition running at the moment to try and bring together ideas on what that earthquake memorial should look like. Um, the, uh, the competition's open until August the 22nd, and if you want to participate, the, um, the web address is running along the bottom of the screen at the moment. We want all your ideas, all your ideas of how this thing really comes together. Ideas whether you are directly involved in the events of February the 22nd or whether you are just more remotely involved, please come together. The idea is we want to have this memorial open by February the 22nd, 2016, the fifth anniversary of the bad, bad quake. As part of the changes to the central city, we want a lot more people living in here, a lot more houses, a lot more residences. To try and encourage that, we're currently consulting on a residential chapter of the central city plan. That's out at the moment, it's up on our website, it's in libraries and service centres, so make your submission. You've only got till the 13th of August to make your submission, so get out there and make your submission. We want your feedback to try and have a really vibrant residential living inside the central city. As I said at the beginning of this little video take, was construction in the city is now running at three times what it was prior to the quakes. The, cent the city council are now well underway with many of their projects, and one project they're getting underway at the moment is a new Hallsville Library and Service Centre. This is going on the site of the existing um, Hallsville um, Aquatic Centre. They're building a 3,000 square metre library um, with meeting rooms, um, a service desk where you can go and talk about your rates and your parking tickets and all those sort of things. Construction is going to take about 16 months, but it's great to see those sort of facilities happening out in the suburbs as well. Facilities that I think will really make those parts of Christchurch really, really good. So everything I've said today is actually available in the GCRU, the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update, which should be um, in your letterbox in the next few days. And if you don't find it in your letterbox, then all this information is also available on the CERA website. Thanks for watching.